welcome on board again. Do you remember? Using the forklift as a snowplow. That's fun. Oh yeah, that was fun. But I think now it's time to build a proper one. Here is the main frame of the thing, all the parts are cut and if my measurements are right uh, the frame should fit on the fox. So this will be the pivot of the plow, rusty but that's what I have. Okay, that's a good start. Now I need something to fix this frame to the forklift. And I think I will go for a piece of flat bar which connects to this bolt here. This could work, but Unfortunately, the bolts are too short now, so I have to make new ones.
nitty gritty. Oh my goodness, that's the only beam I have which is suitable for the job. Okay, let's stop for a minute and uh, let me explain what I'm about to do here. Uh, first things first, I messed up completely and I welded this part to the wrong side of the frame. So uh, <laughs> now these holes don't line up anymore, but that's not a big deal, I can fix that. Uh, what is this contraption here good for? Uh, I want to be able to um, swing the snowplow from left to right uh, via the driver's seat and for this I want to utilize the side shifter of the forklift and now I will make a rod here which is connected to the actual um, snowplow itself and this way I can swing the snowplow from left to right. Wait a minute. I will set you on the tripod and uh, you can see what I mean. Perfect. Get yourself an angle grinder and a welder and you can fix everything. Back on track. So let's take care of the business end then. These are leftover concrete mixer spare parts. So let's see what we got here.
that seems to work. Uh, I have uh, some concerns about these M16 bolts here, but if they fail, I can change them. That's not a problem. But other than that, it's working. Plow itself is uh, mainly functional. Next comes uh, the uh, adjustable wheel here, support wheel. It is a trailer wheel made for 400 kilos, so a heavy duty trailer wheel. I want to mount it somewhere here. And what else left is this uh, rubber guard here, which uh, is a kind of protection for the ground. Joe? Joe? A second spool. So I don't need this uh, fold away function, so I will weld it in place permanently. Yes, the support wheel is in place, it went together smoothly, so no problems here. I have added some support uh, gussets here, so it's uh, pretty sturdy. What's left is to make some extendable feet. And another thing. I have my doubts about the angle of attack here. It uh, should be more vertical, I think. I don't know. It's my 
first snowplow ever. Um, so I'm planning to um, bend this a little bit more vertical. Therefore I have my big pliers here and yeah, wish me luck. Everything is trial and error here, so let's find out if it works. Okay, so here is the wear strip. It's a polyurethane 90A, so a very hard rubbery stuff. And now let's find out how to mount it to the snowplow. So I don't trust the sheet metal, that's why I made these brackets here to reinforce the business edge of the thing. That should do. Let's drill some rubber. Hey guys, here it is. The job is done. Uh, even though the paint job is not the most beautiful in the world, but hey, it's a snowplow. Does it work? <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea. 
So I think it's a matter of waiting for some snow to fall. Uh, okay, so as usual, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and thanks for watching.